Yo, I chose the sketchiest site. This can't be real. Waiting on, waiting on, later on, maybe I'll mess around and get you some nice one day. I play along, maybe I'll move a little closer to the ways of the place with a nice function. Welcome back to the Grave Vibe. Today we're actually going to learn something. I'm going to take a practice exam for the WSET Level 2 course. Um, I took the class back in May uh, and I've actually supposed to, or I was supposed to take the exam already, but I've just had some scheduling conflicts. But that has allowed me to actually go through this um, whole book and just write little notes. Um, but I haven't actually really studied, so this um, exam is going to show me where I'm at. So yeah, we're just going to go through the test. I believe it's 60 questions. Um, I'm just going to share my thought process and then um, for the wrong questions that I get, we'll try to um, dive deeper into them and see what the right answer is. And so hopefully we'll both learn something and um, thank you for watching and let's get into it. Okay. Where in which country is Gianti DOCG produced? <clears throat> so I'm gonna say Italy, Gianti. Oh shoot, I gotta go, I gotta see the definition. E Gianti, Gianti. In which country is the county of Sonoma? As B, USA. Everyone should know that. Uh, which gas is given off during alcoholic fermentation? Golly. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Might be stupid for, it's, it's carbon dioxide. Ah, thank God. What? Hold up. Pause. Which of the following is the most important grape variety in Argentina? Malbec. This is actually, I already finished this, but there's a, a Malbec from Argentina. I tried to take the sticker off, but or the label off, but it didn't go out so well, but. A mailbag from Argentina. C. Which of the following grape varieties is used in Alsace? Alsace? Alsace. To make unoaked white wines that are high in acidity. <clears throat> Alsace. So that's French. I believe. Um, so it's not C or D because those are red. And then um, do they make Riesling? Uh, I would say Riesling because that region, Alsace, Alsace, is close to Germany, which also makes um, Riesling. And then I think the important thing is unoaked. So Chardonnay is typically oat so we're gonna say a hell yeah well, what style of wine is set set oh I... I don't think I went over this um, not really sure honestly Still wine? It's still wine. Is that just wine? Um, I'm gonna say A actually. Fuck! When tasting a wine, tannin is detected by a mouth drying bitter sensation, making your mouth water, producing sweet, ripe flavors, producing salty, tangy flavors. So it's not D. Obviously, so the tannin is so so B making your mouth water that would be acidity 
and then A, I mean the answer is A, but it, yeah, it kind of like dries your mouth, or tannin comes from like the skin of grapes, and it just, yeah, it's like soaks up the moisture in your, your tongue, so you can kind of feel like bumps on the roof of your, your mouth. Just soaks up all that moisture. That got got three thousand with the Twister Wizard seven thousand. Which region of France is Gerstraminer predominantly grown? So we already talked about A. That's also where like reason grows. So I'm gonna say A because they're somewhat similar variety which country is osles osles produced well, that sounds osles. german correct <laughs> um hungry i think this is what they mainly produce Hungary. I think it's a um, semi sweet wine. I've had it before. I think it's actually really sweet. It's, um, sweet and sophisticated. That's all you need to know. Now, which of the following is least tolerant of hot climates? So it's not Shiraz, because that grows in Australia. Um, Grenache is Spain, or at least it grows in Spain. I don't know where else. Um, Capsav can, you know, it's in like California and France. Pinot Noir grows, grows in Oregon, it grows in France, California. It's pretty flexible, but I think I don't think it's ah I don't think it can handle um, hot climates, and also it's the like the lightest red out of all of these. So I'm gonna say B. Heck yeah! Where are the grapevines for wine production mainly planted? So this one you kind of just have to I guess know the numbers, but. If you don't know how the latitude works, but it's 30, 50. You just don't want it to be too hot. You don't want it to be too cold. What would be a good match with salty blue cheese? Ooh, 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 ooh. This one's coming. Good one to think about. Um, so salty, what goes well with salty? Like deep red, cause like steak is salty. So you want like deep and then blue cheese. It's kind of, what's the word for blue cheese? Sweet and salty, and a uh, dry, high tannin red wine with blue cheese. Mm. We're just gonna so B. Mm. Can't be white. No way, white, right? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. What flavors are associated with Pinot Noir? So. Pinot Noir, uh, typically red fruit, and yeah. <laughs> so strawberries, cherries, oh, and then I guess when you age, so it's not, there's no black fruit. Um, so strawberry, cherries, mushrooms, two, so one, two, three. D. Hell yeah. I wish the following grape varieties is often blended with more low. Capsav. 
or what is like more low kind of bounces out the cap sav because cap sav is pretty like really high in tannins high out is it high alcohol like full body um and then Merlot kind of just brings it down the caps have just down a level which of the following is the main group i mean main grape used in chianti then we oh no it was what region um sangiovese sangiovese Da, 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 da. What does Joven indicate on a bottle of Spanish wine? So these is is again is, is like a label thing, um, kind of kind of describes the the level of the wine or the I guess the quality of the wine. Um, so Joven I think is the base quality so it's like it's very simple so the wine has no discernible flavors from oak aging so it could be B and then uh, yeah so B is like it's very simple very basic wine Thirty-eight pale lemon color with citrus and tropical fruit aromas. Ooh, okay. Off dry, high acidity, and medium body best describes a. Oh, you already know. J.K. Um, so it's not Pinot. It's not Cab. It's not Champagne. This has got to be Chenin Blanc. Uh, okay. Tequila. <laughs> tequila must be age. Made in tequila region of Mexico. Made from blue agave. It has to be made in Mexico. I don't know. I wouldn't say D. I don't think it has to be aged. I know my tequila. So I think I did pretty well. I think I would pass uh, the exam. I uh, don't think I'm at an A level, but I think I could get high C, low B um, as of right now. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. And I will see you in the next video. Looking for the holes in my whole life mantra I don't like answers like oh, oh, oh